Hey everyone, Ariel Adams here with a blog to watch. Please subscribe to our videos on YouTube and like this video if you find it useful. I'm very proud to present to you this review of the Alangunzona Datagraph Up Down. This is a new watch for 2013, which is based on a roughly decade old uh, design of the original Datagraph. And it's been, it was such a popular model for this high end German watchmaker that they decided they needed to come out with a new version. So they didn't want to. They, they wanted to sort of preserve what everyone liked about the original, but add something new because they couldn't just sort of release, um, you know, the old watch again. So the up down has a couple of, of very appealing, um, I don't want to call them improvements, but new features um, over the, the original datagraph. So let's talk about the original datagraph first. Um, it was a little bit smaller and it didn't have the up down feature. Now, for German watches, when they have a power reserve indicator, um, instead of sort of full or empty, they use up, down. So if you see here, the small indicator says ab and off, so, or AUF. And so though that basically means up, down. So if it's up, it's wound. If it's down, um, you, you need to go ahead and, and, and wind it. So, you know, off is up and then ab is down. So when you, and I like how it's very diminutive there. So I'm going to wind the watch a little bit there and you can see how this arrow moves. The arrow is on a small little disc, um, so it, but it acts like a hand. And I like how they've sort of gently incorporated the power reserve indicator there. I happen to think that power reserve indicators are very important, especially in watches such as this that are obviously very attractive, extremely high end, but also manually wound movements that you need to, you know, wind um, every couple of days. The uh, power reserve on this is also increased over the original, so it's about 60 hours, so you definitely can go a whole weekend easily um, without winding the watch. So in addition to the in addition to the addition of the power reserve indicator, the new data graph is, is larger than the original. So the original was 39 millimeters wide, and this one is up to 41 millimeters wide. It's not a huge dif difference, and it's by no means a huge watch, but I think that that two millimeter improvement um, is definitely something positive for the brand. And so those those are pretty much the big differences: the increased power reserve, the power reserve indicator, and the larger size, which size, which is what really differentiates um, the data graph up down uh, from the the original data graph on the wrist. This is a great timepiece, um, and I wanted to mention here that the case. Um, in this in this instance is platinum. So you have a beautiful platinum case that just looks very very elegant. In my opinion, Alangunzona is probably the top high end uh, German watchmaker. Of course, there's there's others. There's close competition from uh, also in the Glashuta area. There's you know Glashuta Original and there's some other guys up there. But for me, Alangunzona is really sort of at the absolute apex uh, of fine watchmaking in Germany uh, as a chronograph. The action is just fantastic here. Just like pushing down on the start button, it's just, it just feels like you're, I don't know, it, it's just great. It's a very great sensation. This is also a flyback, so you can go ahead and re restart the chronograph right to get away without having to restart it. Um, what's interesting about the data graph, and now the data graph up down, is that it's very, very rare for Alang and Zona to create black dialed watches. And this is, of course, kind of a panda dial as a sub dials for the uh, subsidiary seconds as well as the chronograph minutes are going to go ahead and be sort of this silvery um, white color. And so this panda dial as well as the dark dial Alang and Zona are extremely, extremely rare. The features include, of course, the chronograph, the power reserve indicator, and the big date, which uh, Alangunzona calls the outsized date, which is just a different way of saying big date. And this pusher right here is the changer for the, the date. So you can go ahead and uh, change the date that way. I've destroyed the date because it is the 12th. But again, even this action is very, very pleasant. Um, when they when they make movements, they do just such a fantastic job that it's just it's a pleasure not only to look at the movements but it's also a pleasure to go ahead and operate the movements. You can see how how the date is displayed there on two different discs, and again pushing the the pusher there is very reassuring. Um, one thing which is potentially an issue is the fact that this pusher you just have to push it in order to adjust the date. Um, you know, and so that means you can sort of sometimes accidentally change the date, but it's not really in the type of position there that it would hit things because it's on, on the inside there of your wrist. Let's take a good look at the movement. All Alangunzona uh, movements are, are <laughs> meticulously created. 
They are hand assembled, hand decorated after they're assembled. They are taken apart, cleaned, reassembled. This specific movement is the caliber L. Uh, what is it? Is the L? Yes, L nine five one point six. And you can see there some of the traditional elements there. So if you see here the balance wheel, and there's what's called the balance cock there, which has been hand engraved at Alangunzona, which is a, a feature that, that I think all of their watches have, sort of a hallmark there. The depth of this is fantastic. Every single time you have a chronograph from Alangunzona, you really are able to see a wonderful sort of city-like movement. And the ethos behind creating a German movement is a little bit different um, than the Swiss. So you see a little some differences here and there. You also see, note that there's an anti-reflective sapphire crystal on the back there, so that seeing the movement is very, very effortless. Because the watch is in solid platinum, it is, of course, a heavy watch, but it's not that heavy um, at all. And I think that the wearability is quite good. It is actually a very comfortable watch. One thing that, that I think is interesting, which is this mi a minor detail, but you have here, of course, um, you know, a platinum case with a black dial um, and white subdials. And the, and the strap, this alligator strap, is actually a dark blue. It's not black. Um, and it goes with everything very nicely. You like that, that longue on the platinum buckle there. So again, this is a gorgeous watch. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, everyone seems to have their own favorite Al Zone watch, um, and there's a lot that I like, And but this is probably one of my favorites, and I'm really happy that Al Zone decided to release an updated version of the Datagraph because it was, you know, very hard to get and I think at 39 millimeters wide it was a little bit smaller than some people wanted to wear. So I think at 41 you're talking about a much more modern size and modern proportioned timepiece. Price for this watch is retails for $87,400 and you can see the full review soon on a blog to watch. Thank you.